Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. So let's go to our next functionality and that is hide end date for half day. In that case, I will go to my instance and I will just quickly go to leave request so that I can show you the what exactly I'm talking about as part of this requirement. And here we have this half day. Now if I check this box, so as of now you can see I can fill the end date and I can also select, select this box. Ideally it should not happen. So whenever uh, this half day is true, basically it should hide this end date. That means, but one more thing that it should also be mandatory. So if I'm not selecting half day, then end date should always be mandatory because that's uh, I would say in order to fill the request. So you have to submit the request. It's very important that you have to fill start date. You have to fill end date as well. So what you can do in order to make it working as part of that when I when I make this true, then only end date should be visible to fill. So I will go to the studio. I will go to application file over here. I will go to client development because that's what the UI policy is. I will select this one and I will just double click. It will open up the new racket and I will select the table that is leave request. That's what we are, where we have to show uh, basically, uh, basically perform this action of the UI policy. And here I can just mention hide uh, end date end date for half half day that's the name i have given now what condition you can put here do i have to put the condition half day is true do i have to put the condition half day is false so we will basically make it reverse we will not make is make it true we will make it false that means whenever half day is false basically end date should be visible and it should be mandatory as well. So if I come over here, maybe I will save it first because we have to create now UI policy action. And if I come over here at the bottom, I will click on new button and I will select the field name now. Here's the field end date selected. Now here I will make it true because I have to make this field mandatory if half day is not checked. And I have to also make it visible. Read only, no, I will make it leave alone. And it says clear the value. Do I have to clear the value? So I think now this is something. So for example, if I'm changing it from half day, uh, uh, basically uh, initially it was like true. If I'm making it false, uh, in that case, then should I remove the value? I think that is something you can do. Uh, maybe if I select this one, and uh, or maybe let's not do right now because this will basically clear the value when it will perform this action. So the if if I'm making I'm making the half day field as false, it will make mandatory, it will make it visible, but it will also clear the value if it had any value. So I'm not doing it uh, right now. So I will just save it. So our UI policy is created. That's it. You're done. UI policy is created. Now you have to test it. So we will do a test whether it is working or not. So I will just reload the form. Leave page. Yes, you can see it is mandatory. But if I will check this checkbox, you can see it's gone and I cannot put any end date on this form. So user cannot fill anything on this particular form. So that's how you can create UI policy in ServiceNow and you can make fields read only, you can make fields uh, uh, visible, you can make fields mandatory as well as per the different conditions you want to basically run them on the form.